Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. This video is about WebGL tutorial. Today's topic will be bouncing ball in 2D animation. When I click into the canvas, a ball is created. The ball will move around and bouncing inside the box. This video is based on early video called WebGL. If you have not watched it, uh, I suggest you go back and watch it. On that early video, uh, basically we create a canvas and every time we click, it gives the uh, canvas coordinate as well as a WebGL coordinate. In our first lesson, we will we'll do away with the first canvas. When we click on a canvas, WebGL we create a dot. Here is the review of lesson one. Uh, basically, I delete uh, the first canvas and it command out. So everything here, uh, you have WebGL command. Here's a vertex. Here's our main function. Uh, we call the WebGL by this two command. We initialize the shader. We assign the output x, y, and this is mouse action. On mouse now, we uh, capture the uh, mouse coordinate and we convert uh, into the web geo coordinate, which range from minus one to one. And finally, we draw with this command. The image shader function uh, yeah, is very typical. And normally you put into a library. If you don't understand this, I suggest you go back to the uh, video that uh, explain about the shader language. On lesson number two, uh, we don't change much. Uh, the only thing we want to do is uh, basically move this command up to the uh, shader. Uh, remember, this command is to uh, cut. I mean, is to translate the uh, canvas coordinate into a WebGL. X Y here can be 100, 200, uh, but the WebGLs only require uh, coordinate is from minus one to one. So this command uh, doing that. So we want to move this command up to the uh, shader into this command. Uh, when you do the program WebGL, it's good practice that you move uh, the uh, JavaScript in uh, basically into the shader of, you know, of to the GPU graphic processing unit, which is much better efficient to calculate. Okay, we're going to do it. First, we comment out these two command. And we move those commands up here. Remember, this is a vertex code. Uh, now I comment it out. And here's a new vertex code. Okay. Uh, if you notice uh, this vector right down here, so these are the size of the uh, canvas. 400. Uh, by 300. So right now I hard code them. I will change later on. So these are basically related to canvas width and height. And these two number are here. And remember this, the whole vector here is uh, multiplied by uh, 1 minus 1. So basically uh, the, to reflect the uh, y uh, minus right down here. So far, so good that we have uh, moved 
the uh, Java calculation into the shader. Now, here we have hard code the canvas size. Now, we a good practice is not to hard code anything. On the next, we're gonna change the vertex code that uh, handle the canvas size. Here, basically, uh, we uh, uh, create a new variable called uniform. Uh, probably, you know, the uniform is the attribute that uh, apply to on vertex. Okay. So, we basically create a variable called size. This is a canvas size, which we will calculate later on uh, at the JavaScript uh, when we get there. So, basically, convert vector to 2 here into a size. Okay, let's delete uh, this vertex code out. Now, uh, inside at JavaScript, we have to calculate the size. Okay, this is a canvas size. So when we go down main here, okay, this is how we can uh, calculate the canvas size. Uh, first, we uh, link the shader variable into the JavaScript variable. Then uh, we use the command uniform two. Remember two is for two. Uh, call it right down here. Add min float min. Then we put the canvas size on. That's it to move the uh, uh, JavaScript coordinate into the clip space of WebGL coordinate. One last thing about. Uh, Lesson two here. I like to remind uh, some of you probably uh, know already. Here we uh, declare two variable: one with attribute, one with uniform. So with the attribute uh, underscore x y, if you look down here, we use command get add attribute location, then the shader variable name here, and this is JavaScript name. For the uniform uh, variable. We use get uniform location, and this is the uh, shader variable, and here's a JavaScript variable. So when we actually assign the final value into those uh, uh, variable, we for the attribute we use vertex attribute command, and the two here basically you can have two, two three, whatever. Here we set decide we uh, use vector so vector of two so we do two here and the floating point unit so we uh, that's what we use uh, for the uniform we use command uniform again two is we need two number here f a floating point that's very important to uh, know when you start learn uh, the shader code. Okay, uh, the output of lesson two is basic matching chain. We click and we get the dot. So the next lesson, we make this dot moving. Uh, on lesson three, here initially you get one bar. If I click, I got some bar moving, and of course this guy start moving because the speed of this guy is random. Here is the, the code of lesson 3 when we start to do animation. This is the main code we add, added on for the animation. So, to create uh, animation, uh, if you, you have to understand the way uh, HTML5 canvas do animation basically it create a loop and uh, here's a timer so for this uh, demo here I basically create uh, use Chrome uh, browser so I explicitly use WebKit uh, request animation if you have some of the browser you might have to change it and the function I need keep keep on repeating 
and the func function draw uh, basically you change the coordinate uh, the position of the uh, of the ball on the first ball basically I just hard code them uh, here's a location of the first ball and the speed uh, of the first ball in x direction and in y direction in the function draw here basically I create a loop and I uh, uh, these two function I update the new position of the ball so 2 is in x direction 3 on the y direction uh, same thing 0 is x direction uh, 1 is y position these two command basically they, you know, detect when the ball hit the wall and when it hit the ball I change the direction so far we just have got one ball now uh, we are gonna uh, explain how to you know, every time we click we got a new ball to do that is very easy now uh, this command basically uh, when we detect the mouse we click the mouse we call the function m down in the function m down basically we uh, uh, the, uh, detect the mouse position and we put a random speed for each ball and we uh, push into the shape uh, array and this is shape array when we execute that's all we need to do to uh, create more more ball with a click of a mouse now we got the ball uh, bouncing inside the box in, uh, on lesson 3 on the ne next lesson we make changing color okay to change color basically we just modify the uh, fragment code okay. so this is the new fragment code what we do is that uh, we create a new variable called color and instead of giving the red color to the fragment color basically we give the variable underscore color and this color which will be assigned later on when we draw now we're gonna assign uh, the the value to the color underscore color. The first thing we do is basically we uh, we ask the uniform location and the color and put into the color. Uh, and in the color, basically we push a random. Uh, remember this uh, wraps an RGB red, and uh, green, and blue. We do the same thing uh, when the, uh, we push down uh, the mouse, push color. Similarly, uh, before we can uh, draw the array function, we uh, call the command uniform and get the color out. That's all we do to get to the color. Now we got color. The next task we want to do is to change the size of the ball. This is lesson number five. Uh, on lesson number five, uh, basically we uh, on the vertex code we add one more variable, point size. Eh? On the le lesson number four, we get it twenty pixel. Now we're gonna put in a variable. Again, on our JavaScript, JavaScript size, uh, we add this command called uniform. So we set the variable. Uh, we dump the data in uh, radius we push data in uh, when M down and at the draw we call it and that's all we do to get the random size thanks for watching the video see you in the next time